Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. I am so glad that you're learning Canva with me today. Colors are a really important aspect of design and Canva has made it even easier for color matching. Let's get started. None of this matches. How can I get it to match and how can I get it to match quickly? Right click on your image and apply colors to page. It automatically takes colors from the images and applies it to things that are on the page. I'm going to switch it and apply different colors. So you see it's switching the colors and that is awesome. What else can I do? We're going to use the color picker. Let me grab this and go up here to the color. And this one I know is only available in Chrome at this time for desktop. It can also be found in the desktop app. You can look here at photo colors and change it that way, which I do like that color. But you can also now go up here, add a new color, and there is pick a color from the design. So I can tap that and then we can hover over the image and be able to choose a color from it. If I had clicked the background instead, I could do the same thing. Color picker, and it's a huge circle, but the color that it is choosing is the one directly in the middle. Let's choose that as the background color. How about this? and then it changes. It's awesome. We're going to create a color palette for a U.S. Thanksgiving celebration. This color isn't doing it for me. I need something else. How am I going to create a color palette for it? I'm going to use a grid. Shocker. I'm going to use this five color panel grid, but you can use any color palette grid that you like. I just like this size and shape because it makes the colors all the same size. I'm going to focus on some of the colors that are within this. The first thing you need to know is that they actually have some colors for you. So I'm going to go ahead and choose two of those colors because those might be good colors for the lettering. And then I'm going to go to grid three, go to document colors and use the color picker and see if I can find some more that might work. There we go. You just have to look at all of the color possibilities. There's a blue. I kind of like that. Let's grab a hair color there. So now we're going to go to Thanksgiving celebration and start playing around with the colors. There's one Thanksgiving celebration that's kind of pretty. Here's another one. I actually like that a lot. There's a third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. And they all look really nice. I'm going to change Join Us 4A to one of the browns. We could even do a color rectangle behind it and choose a lighter color from the image and give it a little bit of a transparency. So that could be your invitation for Thanksgiving that you send out through email or through regular stuff. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. If you like this tutorial and want to see more like it, then I recommend watching one of these right now. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see all of the exciting tutorials that are to come. I think this week I'm going to be doing one on the Instagram seamless carousel. Isn't that fun? All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.